Hi fourth graders, this is your science e-learning lesson for Monday, April 13th. Today you're going to be reviewing lesson three, that's pages 328 to 331, how substances mix. You're going to be completing the worksheet. It's lesson three review, it says that right up the top right hand corner. And just below that, it says pages 328 to 331 to remind you those are the pages that you'll be looking at in your textbooks to complete the worksheet. The first section of the worksheet is a review of your vocabulary for this lesson. And uh, you just need to match the description with the vocabulary word. Your words are mixture, solubility, solvent, solution, and solute. Okay. You use each word one time, write the letter next to the word with next to rather write the letter of the answer choice on the blank next to the correct description. In the middle of the page, you have true or false. Remember true and false can be tricky because often it's just the difference between uh, one word that's either added in or taken out that makes the difference between whether it's the statement is true or false. So you do need to look carefully at those true or false. And then down at the bottom, number nine says, what is one way that all mixtures are alike? What is one way that solutions are different from other mixtures? You have two parts to number nine, so it's actually going to be considered nine and 10. I look at each one separately there. So there are two parts to that last one. You need to make sure you're answering both parts and that you do that in writing by writing in complete sentences. So again, the first one, what is one way that all mixtures are alike? So you can simply start out by saying, all mixtures are alike. Da, da, da. Okay, and then what is one way that solutions are different from other mixtures? Okay, solutions are a type of mixture, but they're different from other mixtures. So you can say solutions are different from other mixtures because solution, in solutions, what happens that makes it different from what happens in other mixtures? Okay, all right. So uh, that again, once again, lesson three review, make sure you're going back into those pages to find the answers to these questions, okay? And don't forget, put your name on this worksheet, please. Remember that I said I do print out a lot of what you send me, and if your name is not on it, I do not know who it belongs to because after it's printed out, I, I have no way of knowing um, if it's yours or not. So please make sure your name is on it if you want to get credit for completing the assignment. Okay, any questions, reach out to me and I'll help you out. Talk to you later, bye.